just a couple of weeks here, we'll be announcing the next generation of the Creative Suite. Now, marketing has said we can't say what it is, um, but we have one, two, three, and four, so let's assume that it's four plus one or something in that range. Um, really excited about what we have coming out uh, in, uh, in April. We're going to be announcing in April. Uh, you're going to find that this isn't just a dot release, it isn't just a speed bump to where we've been uh, previously, but in fact it is a breakthrough. We're going to show you just a couple things just to teach you on some of the features uh, in one of those products that you might be interested in. Um, is anybody here interested in the new packaging? Does anybody want to see the actual new packaging? I can unveil this. The dead market didn't kill me, so I'm not a, uh, Well, you know what? If you just keep it between us, 3,000 people here in the room, and you promise not to tell anybody, there is the new packaging. And see, Chip just said I could put up for 1,001. 2002, 2003. Okay, I've only had it up for three seconds, so you don't have any time taking any pictures or showcases whatsoever. Just three <laughs> seconds of time is what I promised that I would only put it up for. Okay. Um, but rather than talk about it, it's always better to show things. So I'd like to uh, have someone come up on stage, but usually we have a product manager come out, or Russell Preston Brown comes out, or um, one of the folks comes out and actually showcases from Adobe some of the new features. Rather than doing that this year, what I thought I would do was actually bring out a real user. So I'm going to bring Katrina. Katrina, you can step out. Uh, Katrina actually uh, is, let me just give her a little. OK, so rather than having one of our folks, we actually had a real user. Um, actually, Katrina's been a long time user of Photoshop. She actually has been using Photoshop since version 0.87. <laughs> so actually, she's a, 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 an old timer, let's say, for at least usage anyways. So for her age, that's hard to say, but um, she's actually quite young to be using the product for so long. Uh, but anyway, she's going to actually walk us through some of the new features, including uh, some things like, you might have seen actually uh, some previews of things like uh, content or where Phil, she's actually going to show showcase this actually in, in uh, practical implementation. Katrina? Okay, thank you. I am a real user. And um, I was only this tall when Photoshop came out. <laughs> okay, so what's interesting about uh, working with the Adobe team when they develop new features is I actually go back to my old images and I see if I can make them better. Okay, so I've got this shot and, you know, I never liked that this little girl ran through the picture. So now I cannot like her very quickly. So I don't like that she's in this image, so I'm just going to make this really rough selection. Okay, you can see that I'm not taking a lot of time on that. And so, you know what? Bye bye. I hit the delete key. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. I hope that she's not in the audience. Um, now, it was shot with a 10.5 millimeter lens. Look at this. There's now profiles for your lenses. I'm going to click OK and new lens correction that actually works. Okay, so we like that. Wow. Okay. Now I do a lot of traveling, and so I like shooting like background plates or composites, etc. So I was in Italy. It's a beautiful scene, except for all this graffiti. I mean, look at this. Even someone in German, in the Hoffnung auf der Ewigkeit, in the hope for eternity. Don't write it on Italian sculpture. Okay. So. What you can do is, before I use the content aware fill on the background layer, you can also use it on a standard layer by shift delete bringing up the standard fill dialog box and just get rid of it. But eh, that's okay, you probably could have done it with the clone tool, but this is cool. Look at this, we've got graffiti over everything in this image. Katrina, you're actually, I want to point out that I'm actually taking a little German and I can actually really? translate that for you. If you read that, Translated, it says, please buy CS5. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to take that out, but if you want to just show the demo and then go back. Well, this is the pre release. They actually broke Excellent. the NDA. Okay, great. Okay. So, I'm going to uh, get the spot, aware, spot healing brush, choose content aware fill, and check this out. 
just literally stroke, take everything out. Okay? It doesn't even matter. I'm just shaking a little bit too much coffee. And I'm not going to make you watch me while I clean the whole thing up. This is fast. So, all you retouchers, restoration people, the cracks in the old photos, don't let anybody see how quickly you can work them. And finally, you know how clients are, and art directors are. Once they see what you can do, they're like, couldn't you? Wouldn't it be great? And you're like, of course. So the story is here, it's like, you know, we don't really like those earrings. Fine. Spot healing brush. Well, let's just take them out. I'll go right over the shadows. Not a problem. Okay, then once they see that, they're like, you know, we never really liked that bathing suit. <laughs> Another uh, uh, Janet Jackson uh, wardrobe malfunction here. So this is a PG PG 13 maybe audience. Uh. And I'm not Justin Timberlake. Okay. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this bikini more comfortable because this uh, this big clasp here would be very uncomfortable to lie down on. So let's just redesign the bikini. Okay. So what's amazing about this is. The frightening thing is, is once they see what you can do, they're like, take it all off. <laughs> okay? And for stock photography, lots of times they don't want things like jewelry in the image. So, I just have to retouch that little bit of wrist now. And you can see, even though I've been talking, how quickly I went from this to this. 45 seconds. The thing is, is, I've been working a long time with Photoshop. There's features that demo well, and there's features that actually let you get work done. And I really feel this is one of them. Excellent. Thanks, Thanks. So there's Phil, and now there's content aware Phil. Know it can help you a lot in your workflow.